Welcome back to another video, my lovelies. In today's, we are going to be just walking through the different ways that I prioritize my mental health as a stay-at-home mom. First things first is always me making time for myself. Like, that is always key, even if it's just for a few minutes. So, I always go straight to the shower. Like, that is my me time, first time, first thing in the morning. And it gives me the ability to, like, fully wake up for one. And recite my affirmations while I'm in the shower and just like low-key pamper myself in the morning before I go out and deal with the kids. If you do not know, I have twins who are 10 years old, twin girls. I have a stepson who is five and then I have my baby girl who is four. My stepson is usually with us during the summertime and of course right now it is summer. The kids are out of school so we have them all. And I'm blessed enough for my twins to be able to get up and get them situated as far as like brushing their teeth and making sure that they put some clothes on for the day and depending on you know what's in the kitchen to cook for breakfast Naya can definitely hook up breakfast as well so I have that luxury of being able to get up and do for me first if they are up at the same time lately getting up earlier than them has not been an option for me i have very low energy at this point in my pregnancy well really throughout this entire pregnancy i've had such low energy but that's fine um i do have that assistance so that is something that i am able to delegate to my twins and you know spend time making sure i'm good first thing in the morning Just take a look at yourself Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fighting yourself Trying to forget how you felt Just take a look at yourself Can't even be your own friend Cause you're way too stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain away Sometimes it works out
So one of my favorite ways to pour into myself that really helps with my mental health is journaling. I've been journaling for years and it is such a beautiful process as well as reading. Um, I love to journal out my feelings, you know, word vomiting and things like that. But I also love to journal out my affirmations and my gratefuls just to keep me centered and keep me reminded. And I absolutely love reading self-help books that do the same. So this is your sign if you are not a journaler nor a reader to actually try it, journal, pick up a book and feed your mental with some motivation, some inspiration, some positivity, some love, some gratitude, you know, the good things. I literally knocked out all the food from this bird feeder. I just refilled that bird feeder up like maybe three days ago. And that's where all they food at. There'll be so many of them that comes to be eaten. So I guess just like from the hustle and bustle of it all, it ends up on the ground. But yeah, that's empty now. This is all done. <laughs> Usually, usually I can make time to do prayer and meditation outside in nature where I would prefer to do it. But today I woke up a lot later than usual, so the sun is already beaming on my backyard and it is already excruci excruciatingly hot. <laughs> um, so, you know, this works. I love prioritizing activities that help me feel centered and help me feel fulfilled and help me feel just happy and full of love and joy and so journaling prayer and meditation moving my body those are all things that i absolutely love to do and making time to do them daily is super important even if you can't get all of them done like honestly on my work days when I have to go to work, journaling and reading is probably the top two that I always am able to get done. Prayer and meditation is like, for me, I've grown over the years to where prayer and meditation can be 10 minutes to 15 minutes for me. I can pray, 
and then I can sit and just listen to divine in a meditation and I can honestly do that before I get out of the bed I can do that while I'm in the shower but on days when I don't have to work I love prioritizing just being able to actually sit pray and listen so not every day is gonna look the same and that's something I definitely want all of my mommies to understand and don't beat yourself up about not being able to do certain things on certain days at certain times find a balance and make it work for you make your lifestyle how it needs to be according to make your routine sorry make your routine how it needs to be according to your lifestyle don't compare yourself to anyone else and what they're doing and what they may have time to do because that definitely will not help your mental okay everybody's lifestyle is different everybody as individuals are different and it's not gonna look the same and that's okay what works for you works for you and just make it make it intentional when you are able to do those things I know that every day looks different, every day has its different challenges, and it can be tough sometimes, but just remember that you are the master creator of your life. You are divine feminine, you are divine masculine, you have the ability to create the life that you desire, and that starts with taking care of yourself, taking care of your mental health, so make sure that you are making time for yourself daily, even if it is just for a few minutes. Make sure that you are prioritizing those activities that bring you joy and help you feel centered, and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need to, whether it be from your children, your partner, family members, friends, etc., and also, don't feel guilty about taking time for yourself. It's important for your mental health's well-being. So do what you got to do and do it for you.